Elsewhere, Federal High Court sitting in Buari has dismissed a motion filed by Mr. Frederick Odorike, who sought to challenge an earlier court decision from July 2023. The court had consolidated the hearing of Chairperson of the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa's pr preliminary objection with the main defamation case. The High Court, presided over by Justice M. A. Madugu, ruled that it had the authority to merge both hearings for convenience, thereby dismissing Mr. Odorige's request. Mr. Odorige had filed a defamation lawsuit against Honorable Dabiri Erewa seeking 300 million naira in damages. This was over a tweet from Honorable Dabiri Arewa in July 2022, where she allegedly described Mr. Odorige as a hungry man living in Hungary, accusing him of being paid to tarnish her image. In response, Honorable Dabiri Arewa filed a counterclaim for 2 billion naira, alleging that Mr. Odorige's accusations against her were false and damaging. The court has now instructed Mr. Odorige to present his case and witnesses during the next hearing, which has been adjourned to 26th November 2024. Away from that story, United Nations Subcommittee on Prevention of Torture has concluded its second visit to Nigeria from 8 to 19 September 2024, expressing serious concerns about the treatment of individuals in detention. The delegation aimed to evaluate the country's efforts to protect the human rights of detainees and to assess the functionality of a national preventive mechanism to prevent torture. However, the head of the delegation, Ms. Shujun Mohammed, voiced disappointment over the Nigerian authorities' lack of cooperation, both prior to and during the visit. A press release by the subcommittee explains that the delegation inspected various detention facilities across the country, including police stations, criminal investigation departments, and facilities managed by agencies combating drug and human trafficking. Ms. Mohammed described the conditions in these detention centers as abysmal, calling on Nigeria to take immediate action to prevent torture and improve conditions, especially in police-run facilities. She emphasized the urgent need for legal safeguards and an end to the impunity of those responsible for acts of torture. Nigeria is obligated under the optional protocol to the Recon or Convention Against Torture ratified in 2009 to facilitate the SPT's mandate without obstruction. 